After over two decades, Sonic the Fighters has just received its first ever balance patch. Last night, Sonic the Fighters Community Discord modding team released the newest version of STF Community Edition to the public. This mod of the PlayStation 3 version of the game is a project that sprouted up in early 2024, originally as a way to allow Honey the Cat to be playable in ranked mode, and to fix a few music playback issues in versus mode. But now, as of July 9th, 2024, this team is back with the newest version of Community Edition, and basically, STF will never be the same. Community Edition is more or less the first balance patch the game has ever gotten, although the main cast is basically untouched. The main goal of the modding team with this was to make the game's boss characters, Eggman and Metal Sonic, less overpowered and more in line with the rest of the cast strengthwise. At the same time, they went ahead and made one of the characters hidden in the game's code, Mechless Eggman, fully playable, and disabled the comeback mechanic known as Ketchup that can make the game especially volatile. They also added alternate skins for the boss characters, allowing them all to be played in mirror matches, something the base 2012 version of Sonic the Fighters does not allow. The changes to Eggman in his mech suit are pretty simple. His frame 10 drill claw was slowed down considerably on its startup, taking away a tool that the character could use in the past to easily steal rounds and even games. Meanwhile, his jabs, which were his other most exploitable tool, were also given lower damage output. Whether the character has much going for him now, it's hard to say, but with him now being able to be played in mirror matches, it seems like Eggman may finally be able to be a fully tournament legal character in Sonic the Fighters. Eggman's alternate costume for mirror matches uses some of the tank Eggman assets that were present in SDF's code but not utilized in its final release, and they look pretty cool. So Eggman's been touched up a little bit, but Metal Sonic has seen a far more significant rework. In Sonic the Fighter's original release, he was solely a boss character with the overpowered moves and movement to back it up. This movement has been toned down for Community Edition, and many of Metal's attacks now have significantly higher startup or recovery, or both. He still maintains his laser attack, which goes straight through blocks, and it now also activates Hyper Mode, something Metal previously could not access at all. Metal's potential in this version of SDF is still unclear. Many of his changed moves feel awkward to use, but when things work for him, they work really well. His weakness seems to be primarily defensive, as his sidestep gives him fewer frames of invincibility than the sidesteps of other characters, meaning that attack strings that some characters can sidestep out of might actually still work on Metal Sonic. Still, once he gets cooking, especially with his laser or emerald dive, he can be a frightening foe. Finally, there's Mechless Eggman, also known as Legman, a character who's been playable in arcade ROM hacks of the game over the years, but can now finally be made accessible to the general public. This character is one of SDF's many extra characters, functioning a bit like a hybrid of Knuckles and Mech Suit Eggman. Like Knuckles, he can utilize sidestep punch kicks, skip kicks, and step kicks to batter his opponent. Meanwhile, like Mech Suit Eggman, he can throw bombs, has a suplex, and can only activate hyper mode while in the air. I am personally loving this character, and I can't wait to see what he's capable of. All of this is really cool, but the biggest thing to come out of this mod for competitive play is, as mentioned earlier, probably the removal of Ketchup, the damage scaling system that has made Sonic the Fighters volatile and somewhat random as a fighting game. You could always turn off Ketchup in the HD 2012 versions of STF, but when playing the game online, it would always revert to having it on. This meant that much of STF's meta development has happened with Ketchup on. And it's still a mystery exactly how turning off catch-up damage will impact the game's meta in the long term. There is one comeback mechanic that was not nerfed, and that's Knuckles' sidestep. Surprisingly, this infamous forward sidestep in STF actually takes Knuckles further when he has lower health than his opponent. And while the STF mod team was able to figure out how to remove catch-up in damage, they were not able to remove it from Knuckles' sidestep. Personally, I don't mind it though, I think it's kinda cool that he has this mechanic in the first place. If you want to try out this new version of Sonic the Fighters, I've got a link to the community discord in the description for this video. You will need RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, and your own ROM of the game to set this mode up, but once you do, it's not a super difficult setup.